Okay, this is, this is my first attempt at zooming myself into a video. I put on a beanie cap to look like you know who. I won't mention the name, but I watch his videos all the time. But anyway, um, I want to. I'm aiming toward making a video soon about various kinds of rights. And for example, um, examples of fundamental rights, for example, that I've developed in the past. And the idea that if you have, if you have a fundamental right or if you have some kind of su substantial right that others might have to um, make sacrifices so you, you can have that right or might have to do uh, for other things in reciprocation for you um, in order to uh, to protect that right. For example, the right to be as free as pra reasonable from infectious disease. So wear a mask. I mean, that's the most obvious. That's a real obvious thing right now. So that's something I'm going to work on. Um, I've got an essay, a series of essays I started back in 2016 called Do Ask, Do Tell 4, Moral Redux. And that's going to be the launch pad. Where I think we're headed, um, we're heading away from the idea of the individual being responsible for, him, for their self. Um, and even following certain rules, um, accomplishing things, working hard, mer in other words, meritocracy. We're, we're getting away from th that in many people's minds. It's just simply equity. And you have to have both. You have to have individual ego and individual desire to achieve things and individual passion. And you have to have, um, you have to have a society that's stable enough and, and fair enough. Um, the far left and so, has become very tribal, and so has the far right, for that matter. But particularly on the left, we have this idea that people need to accept the fact that they belong to groups and that they have to be responsible for the privilege that they got from belonging to certain groups, which is not always true in individual cases. And on the extreme right, they're concerned about giving up those privileges. Um, that and this obsession with and even with doing with giving preparatively the you know an oppressed group enough political power to control the speech of others to protect its members from danger um, so you're seeing these very draconian steps by YouTube um, to restrict speech because of some special some particular things that have happened recently that I won't get into right now. But this is the tone of what I'm going to be getting into and tracking these rights back to what the situations in my own life, as I said yesterday, there's kind of a dichotomy when I went through this period of upward affiliation in my personal life and needing a lot of personal nobility. And then the second part of my life, which was the free, you know, not simply freedom of speech, but freedom of reach, of being heard by everyone. And if you're going to have that freedom, you may have responsibilities that go with it to make up for your complicity with privilege, I guess. And, and you may be expected to do things publicly for other people to make them, to uplift them if you want to be uplifted them, yourself and be expected to do that public, very publicly if you want a public life. That's the concern I have. But anyway, we're going to work on getting Zoom to work and making the technology, you know, bringing my own video skills up to more what many other people's are, since I haven't emphasized that in the past. But I just wanted to get started with that today.